Good afternoon, YouTube family, booktube family. It's your girl Memphis Jones, and I'm out here navigating these DMV wet streets. Please be safe out here because people are doing the most, as per usual, by breaks don't fail. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to quickly get on here and uh, discuss a bit with you about my method of reviewing the books that I read. I do not rate books. I do not give star ratings at all because I think that every book that I choose to read, I am reading for a purpose and it's more than just to be able to review it. Meaning, I'm reading it because something within those pages needs to be absorbed by me, by you. You know, it could be, you know, sometimes you discover things to discuss them and they are not really meant for you. They're meant for someone that you will meet at some point in time. So, Instead of reviews, I just discuss my books. Either I like them or I don't. And I may or may not say that I liked it or did not like it, but I will review it nonetheless. As an example of this, I was gifted a book called Decade to Decade by Bob Deal. This book was not a pleasure read. It was not fun or funny. Excuse me. But what it was was timely. It was exactly what I needed at the time I received it. And I'm sure you all understand what I mean by that. Decade by decade delves into life where we think we should be and where we actually are based off of normal growth, understanding, science, psychology. So what you're doing between the ages of zero to 10, what you're doing and learning from the ages of 11 to 20, uh, 21 to 30, so on and so forth, the decades of life. This particular book had me really thinking about my personality, changes I may have gone through, um, events, how they shaped me, how they shaped my, my thoughts, um, you know, and also for the better or worse, like, should I have experienced these things, like, you know, but it makes you think about things within those time frames. It gives you chunks of life to think on. And I think the value in a book of this nature is it helps you to, A, if, you are, if you're part of the journaling community and you're trying to journal about your life or things that may or may not have happened, th this is a good, like, plan to follow so that you know how to discuss these things with yourself or whoever decides to read your journal. Um, and if you were in a phase of wanting to say, write your memoir, this would be a good way to get your mind jogging through your timeline, your history, to help you lay your thoughts out. Now, this book is very small. Um, it may be 115 pages, maybe 130 pages, and that's including the intentionally left blank pages, the forward, preface, intro, all of this um, as part of it. So it's not a big book, but it, it's a book that makes you think 
a little deeper about who you are then and now and hopefully helps you plan for those latter years that you have yet to reach but to remind you of things that you may want to be thinking about you know such as estate planning making sure you have a will you know where where is your career leading you should you change careers midstream you know it, it's a lot to unpack and it's even good for parents to read so they have an idea you know why is my child going through such and such phase well based off of Bob Deal's studies this is why puberty you know hormonal changes different things what your mind may be going through when you're having these changes as a young person it's, it's really not a bad book, but it's not a fun book. <laughs> you know, a time will be had, but not a fun time will be had. <laughs> However, I feel like it would be unfair to rate a book of this nature because I'm not reading it for fun. So, you know, I just wanted to ensure that you understood me as a booktober um, and how I differ from... Uh, some of the other booktubers who may, you know, who may do the rating uh, system. I just don't think that that fits my style at all. And it doesn't fit what I read. Most of what I read isn't fiction. So I think if I read fiction more, I may, you know, consider the concept of rating. But I really, again, I, I don't want to do that. Um, and I read books by people uh, who I know. Now, some of them want straight, no chaser, you know, how did you feel? I will give you that. I have no problem giving you that. But it probably won't be here. I will probably give you that face-to-face -face because uh, this is a part of you. Writing is a part of the person especially if it's a memoir, even if it's a fictional story, it may very well be loosely based on their existence, on something that they experienced in their uh, lifeline, in their timeline of life. So, you know, I'm cautious of that and I'm cognizant of people's, you know, feelings and connections to things. So with that said, I just wanted to jump in here really quick. And you know, another thing about uh, decade to decade, and he probably has workbooks and seminars that go along with this. But if you were reading, um, I think the book is called The Art of Writing. I think that may be what it's called. Um, but from that, the concept of morning pages is uh, that particular book. The concept of um, morning pages comes from that. And I, I believe her last name is Cameron. But I'll link that uh, in the uh, description. At any rate, if you decide to practice morning pages but you don't know exactly how to start, a book like Decade to Decade could actually jumpstart you. Maybe start talking about, you know, what you remember of your life between, you know, the ages of 1 to 10. I can't see you remembering much beyond 1, maybe 2 to 10. You know, and then moving on through the decades because sometimes people have a hard time with brain dumping but this could get you started as a as a prompt and before you know it you've written however many uh, allocated pages that you know morning pages is set for for every day um, I may even look into doing morning pages myself I'll read the book and uh, do morning pages along with decade uh, by decade um, and maybe come back. Not maybe, I'll do that. I'll, I will set myself on this path of I'll review, read and review the process for morning pages and utilizing these two books, I'll do the first 10 days of morning pages utilizing the decade by decade uh, book and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. How about that? A little self-imposed challenge.
<laughs> y'all be good be safe be vigilant you know these streets are these streets you know we can't live in a bubble we have to get in get out do what we have to do try to enjoy life enjoy the people that you have in your life enjoy your four-legged friends furry friends feathered friends scaled friends whatever kind of pets you have you know be good to them and they'll be good to you you know and just remember we all we got there's nowhere to run from this particular planet and why would you want to it's a gift it's a gift all right it's your girl Memphis Jones signing out thank you for being my friend on booktube see ya